Hey guys, MKXJump here, and I hope the exposure from outside isn't too bright. I don't normally shoot during the day, so <laughs> this is this is a new one for me. But today's video is an FTA partner special. My friend Ostakaka, I'm going to be going on his account and messing around with it, like one of our original Account Doctor videos. Now, you may remember him for being the guy that we went on his account and built him a really nice good versus evil team. We gave him Asmodol and Ada because at the time those heroes were really strong. But since then, we've had heroes like Garuda, Tara, Carrie, and Unimax released to the game. And as well, we have massive changes to the aura system. Good versus evil is no longer a thing he needs to prescribe to, as pretty much any combination of heroes will net positive rewards, and it's great to use different heroes in what we'd originally call non-aura teams, as these now provide you with bonuses as well as just being really well-made teams, so there's a lot more flexibility in team building now. And that flexibility means we can go on his account and start messing with things again to really try and push his team because it has dropped off in recent months and isn't performing as well as it used to. And I think that says more for how weak Asmodol has become in recent months thanks to the release of new heroes such as Garuda. So we're going to log on his account, build him an E5 carry, an E5 Garuda, and mess around with his team to see just the best way we can get some good performance. We're in for some good fights, guys, so stay tuned. Let's start things off by building carry. Now, I'm assuming you've summoned all your carry copies. Yes, you have. Okay, so let's begin construction. <laughs> so, uh, let's go to the creation circle. And first things first, six star carry. So, we, we're pretty much good. We don't want to touch these carry copies. They're all going to be safely used as food. And we'll just we'll just use these guys down here. That's There should be more than enough of them. If there's not, we can fuse. So, confirm, there is a 6-star carry. Nice. So, if we swing across now to carry, wherever she's gone, there she is, we'll start building her up. Okay, there we go. So we've got carry to a position where we can start to awaken her now, which is good. So we're going to start using these dark five stars that we have to get her up. And uh, yeah, let's just keep on going. Yeah, we don't want to use those last copies, so this will be fine. Uh, we've got a six star dummies for days. So we're going to start uh, off pushing carry by getting these two copies here. We'll use one of these dummies and then we'll feed that Ice Blink. We're going to unlock all of them as well, whilst I remember. Uh, so unlock Ice Blink. Oh no, you're using them in Arena. Ah, why? Uh, so I need to take out uh, Ormus, DH and Aiden. We need to take out Ice Blink. We need to take out Fat Moo. Where's Guster? Because he needs to go as well. There. Battle. Sorry about that if I just ruined your team. We're not here to, you know, fix your interdimensional arena. We're here to fix your heroes, man. So there we go. Let's do that. Stick in Ice Blink. Awaken. Nice. Okay, sweet. So now we're going to start enabling. So throw in Fat Moo. Put a carry there. Enable. And then we're going to put in another. Stick this. Enable. And then we do the same here, but this time it's a 10 star, so we're going to use this Demon Hunter we built. Then we're going to take and use Ormus. And then final guys, we're going to put in Aiden and our last carry copy for E5 carry. Sweet. Right, did you get the skin for her? Uh, let's hope he did. Let's check a double check. Oop, wrong button. So, let's go here. Okay, one, two, three. Ooh, he's invited, managed to invite four, so he's got himself the prizes. Very nice. And he got Augustin, Unimax, Garuda. Good choices, man. Good choices. So, if we go to the skin shop, we can open the little red Riding Hood skin. Give that to Carrie. 
There it is. This offers her attack, HP, damage reduction. Nice. And then just hold this down. <laughs> Just stupid? I agree. I don't like the skin either, but there you go. We've managed to make her E5, level her all the way up, and I agree. You know what? Let's just let's just pretend we don't have the skin, because <laughs> because her base version just looks way better. Let's be honest, it just looks cooler. Like, this guy's badass. Why would you not want to, like, show it off? Uh, let's do her enables uh, speed all the way, guys. She's fast. She needs it. Um... Increase effect of being healed. Uh, see, now I wonder what's going to be better on her. Uh, I have an active skill. She deals a lot of damage. I'm going to stick lethal fight backer on her for now. Just to see uh, if it's worth it. Uh, but anyway, speed's the most important. Then we're going to give her unbending will. Um, if we if we don't like lethal fight back, we can always switch to vitality. I mean, there's even the option of shelter. Um, so there we go. Nice. Um, <clears throat> auto equip. What have we got? Oh, oh, that's just oh god. Ah, where's the ranger armor? Do you have ranger armor? Is it being worn by Penny? Yes, it is. And that artifact's hideous. Do we have the Augustus magic ball? You do, surely. It's somewhere, right? Ah, it's on Cruise. Yeah. But now we can give it to Carrie just to make her nice and fast. Sweet, look at that. Speedy, speedy, speedy. Now, for people running two carries, it's quite common to have one using its basic and one using its active. And being able to snipe something like uh, an Ada or, or a different hero like that, uh, and hopefully reducing its energy, is absolutely incredible. Whereas other heroes, where well, there's lots of them that are slightly slower, arguably it's better then to use the one... Uh, with an energy artifact, because then her active skill will reduce multiple, because if we read her active skill, you'll see the carry deals it against four enemies, and then has a 70% chance to do a devouring mark. So it's, it's if you're sniping uh, an Ada, or hoping to, you have a 1 in 6 chance of doing it. So is it reliable? Not really. So I'm actually going to uh, say that maybe we don't run Augustic Magic Ball, uh, Augustus Magic Ball, sorry. Maybe we do run an energy artifact on this carry. But before we, before we get ahead of ourselves, let's upgrade the stone. Uh, we've got loads of resources to do this, so it should be totally fine. And what's this last one going to be, guys? Oh, HP, HP. There. Right, let's, let's convert this to speed. Let's see what can come up. What speed stones can we get? Attack, attack. Ooh, that's not what we want. Attack, HP. Holy attack. And uh, HP? Nope. Uh, speed crit? We'll take that? I don't know if we want crit on her. Hmm. I probably would rather go with attack or HP. Um, spend? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Yep, yeah, that was, that was, yep, yeah, easy. Speed HP. Nice. That was that was easy enough. Uh, <laughs> right, and we'll we'll give a we'll give her an energy artifact. Oh, it's the classic. It's the classic. You don't have an energy artifact. Oh. how many do you have? You have one on Belrain, one on Amon Ra, and one on DA. Well, we can get rid of the one on DA. That's going to be fine because we're not going to be using DA. Uh, not with carries floating around anymore. DA's not as good as she used to be, unfortunately. Um, and it's it's the Orb of Annihilation, so it'll give her a nice, nice high skill damage, which is good. Taking a look at this, we now have a comfortable, well, a slowly increasingly comfortable lineup. How's your Unimax copies looking? Because that will really make a difference. If we can get Unimax on board, you've got two. <laughs> is that it? Are they the only Unimaxes? I think it is. I think that's it. Only two copies of Unimax. Okay, it's going to be a little more difficult uh, than we'd have hoped. Now, here's when the questions get really, really, really spicy. So, for those of you that don't know, uh, Ostakaka is a massive hoarder. And hoarding with Ostakaka has always been his downfall as much as his benefit. 
If I go and show you right now how many relics he's got, he's got 854. And he is seriously considering buying, well, an artifact with relics. Now, I said this was a bad idea. It, it, I think it's terrible. I, I, I absolutely hate it. I hate the idea of it. I think it's ridiculous. I would rather... I'd just rather not. Uh, and Ostakaka, I can give you... A, I can give you one easy reason why. The easy reason why I don't want you to do this is 800 relics is 10 copies of a dark hero. That means, guys, you can get he can get a second E5 carry like that. And two carries is insane. So I would rather not. You've got two Orb of Annihilations. He wants to get Demon Bell. Uh, he says maybe buy Unimax. I mean, it's, it's an option. It's an option. I'd rather double carry and just stick someone else um, out there. It, I mean, it doesn't, you don't, you don't have to have Unimax. I say that riskily, because in an ideal world, you'd have Unimax on your team. Uh, but double carry is evil. It's, it's, a, it's just evil. Wait, regress? No, I'm not regressing Asmodol. You probably want to build a Tara, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> just save him. He's, he's a load of light food, ready to go. That's ah, a terrible idea. I mean, yeah, sure, you can build another light hero if you need to, using all this. Ah, oh, I don't know if we want to regress him. I, mean, I don't want to regress DA. That's No, absolutely not. In broken spaces, DA is fun and does lots of damage. I, I, I will... No. Just no. I like DA with the new skin as well. It's cool. It's a cool new skin. I like the skin. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it. No. But yeah, okay. If we were gonna get rid of, if we were gonna get rid of DA, uh, keep DA, and replace with a second carry. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build a second carry when carry gets released. We're gonna have two carries. Sounds good. Thumbs up. Happy days. Asmodol. If we regress, <laughs> just saying it hurts. Oh. Uh, if we regress Asmodol. We will have enough to get Garuda up as well. What do you think, boys? Regress Asmodol? It hurts just to say it, but I know we're not getting Tara, because the only way we're getting Tara is with Relics, and Relics are going for a second carry. Uh, we, if we get Tara copies, we can just build another Tara with these. It's perfectly fine, uh, and very easily done. Here goes something ridiculous. We're about to... Uh, uh, it makes me it makes me a little annoyed doing it to be honest. I don't like promoting regressing light and darks, but let's just remember that this is a VIP9 very end game account. So this is actually okay. This is a perfectly fine thing to do. Asmodol. Asmodol. Asma Kadasma Alakazam, you're going to be dead. That's the plan. <laughs> Say bye-bye chat. Say bye bye to Asmodol. Bye bye, Asmodol. It was nice knowing you. Uh. Fuck off. Uh. It hurts so bad. Ah! Oh. 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 Oh, that's so uncomfortable. Oh, it's, it's made me feel a little sick inside doing that. Oh. Oh, I didn't like that. That was... It's just breaking all the rules. If we really wanted to go and break the rules, we'd go and spend 400 relics on, on an artifact, but that's no. No, just just no. That's not happening today either. Uh... Mm. Ugh. Right. <laughs> let's, let's big up Garuda. This team is going to be so good. So good by the time we finish. There's the button I'm looking for. Yeah. Right, let's go. Confirm. Enable. Boom. Wouch. And again. Ouch. Oh. Oh, this this is just wrong. 
Ah, I'm using light food. I mean, that's all it's there for now. It's all it's there for. And finally, guys, there we go. Look how much progress this account has just made in in in, in a matter of minutes. It's just suddenly so much better. Right, let's uh, let's upgrade these stones. Let's see what comes. Attack HP. Oh, okay. That's better than speed crit. We'll save that. That's nice, actually. That's quite a spicy one to get. Um, do we leave it there? What do you think, chat? I don't mind this. Yeah, I think we leave it for now. I don't feel too bad with this. This is nice. Catbug with the follow. Thanks, buddy. Welcome. Nice to see you here, buddy. Um, Reroll the Garuda Stone. Yeah, no, I think we need to do that eventually. We're gonna see how it works right now. Anyway, let's let's go into Arena. Um, we'll we'll pop on this team and see how these minor tweaks have changed the performance. Okay, so carry nabbing a load of energy from the heroes there, which was nice, and. Barely taking any hits. Look at the opponent's team. Their health is just gone. That Cruise getting a stun on Carry. Bit mean, uh, but Carry's now definitely going to kill that DA. That DA's had a charge. Um, hopefully she can snipe DA. We'll see. Oh no, DA got an active skill off. Didn't really do much though. Amon Ra's shield soaking that up. And this team just eating its way through. Oh my word. Yeah. Wow. 6-0. Straight there, guys. Garuda doing all the damage. Whew. Okay, let's move on to the next fight. Let's go. Let's try to find the big boys. Let's go all the way with 15. Um, like, Kakagimbo. He's got a full-on good versus evil team. This one's got Penny. we got a 10-star carry in there. I don't really like that team. Let's try Kakagimbo. Oh, if I can find myself, I will. I will audit. it. If, if I come up, I will give myself a, an attack. I'll probably get bested. Um, ooh, carry nearly dead here. Ouch. Okay, her shield keeping her in. Uh, hopefully she can steal some energy. Oh, this was an early brutal fight. Um, oh, well, Garuda's CC'd. Carry can hopefully come back and deal some big damage. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, oh, this could be this could be a loss right here, guys. Ouch. Big damage from Dark Arthendal, it seems. Carries back. Okay, here we go. Can she do big things? Oh, she's dead again. Garuda, big active skill. No, killed by Aspen. We died. Wow, that DA absolutely tanking through our stuff. I reckon like that was DA Tara doing a real good job there. Even though, like, like Carrie's meant to be a counter to DA, what happened there is just she didn't get it. She just didn't get the hit, and that's that's often just what what happens with Carrie. If she doesn't get her active skill to hit DA, DA's gonna hurt. Let's try again. Okay, there we go. DA. Getting hurt again, but still taking a massive amount of damage. Because Carrie actually helps DA. If you think about it. Because she hurts DA. But if she can't kill DA, she buffs DA. It's a weird interaction. Because she removes the energy and they deal damage. But DA is now dead, which is fine. We might actually still see ourselves winning this one. Yeah, you're right. Bell Rain really isn't doing much here. Um, it might be worth replacing with Cruz. Yeah, that was that was ruthless. Again, DA with the big damage. Uh, so if we take out the Bell Rain, try the Cruz this time. Right, so DA's charged. Let's watch what happens here. 
We need to rely on Carrie's basic hitting DA. Ah, okay, there we go. Cruz's stun. Definitely helping us here. That's one thing this team actually lacks, is, is reliable CC. So that stun from Cruz definitely putting in work. Stun from Dragon as well there, which was nice. Getting purified away, but still helping a little. Wow, look at the difference one hero made. Uh, Tartarus, we use Dragon just for the stun. Um, it's it's a nice hero, and, and also increases your crit damage, so you can get bigger burst from some of your heroes. Uh, so it's it gives holy damage, it gives crit. It's pretty solid. Kelty Reese saying, what's my favorite type of music? Um, that's a difficult question to answer. It depends on my mood. Uh, the genre is often moon defined, mood defined for me. There are some I really like. There are some I, I'm just it's it's an acquired taste. I really like classical music a lot more, uh, but I love good jazz. I love good rock. It mainly depends on the quality of the recording and how good it sounds through speakers. That's the main thing. If it sounds good, I like it. I don't care on the genre or the style. Wow, Cruz doing work there. Yeah, and Cruz doesn't even have... I don't think... Yeah, he said go check his gear and artifact. I don't think he's got much on. Um, yeah, no, he's he's got six-star armor on, but he's not even got an artifact. So we can't even give him an energy artifact. Oh, yes, we can. Because we took... Uh, if we take one off Bell Rain, uh, stick it on Cruz, we may see some exciting things here. So we give that to Cruz. See what difference this makes. So if we go to uh, the arena again, it's probably not going to make much difference to that fight. But it's funny how we were losing, we switched Bell Rain for Cruz, and now we're winning. Uh, it's it's really good to see the difference Cruz is making to teams. And I I would even go so far as arguing that right now, maybe it is worth saying that. Cruz is a better support for carry because by stunning a hero it gives carry a larger window to steal their energy and that's an interaction you really need to remember because taking a hero's energy can be great when they've got an active skill but if they don't it's it's less good she doesn't deal as much damage so if you stun them um when their active's charged uh, it means that carry can definitely stop them before the active goes off so that she's not just hitting a hero with no energy. Because that's that's likely. That can happen. Uh, this should be a fairly easy fight, I'm hoping. Oh, looks like his Belrain's going to get her active skill off. Um, which is unfortunate. Unless we can lock her out. Nope, Belrain's active skill is in. Which means he might have a slight edge this fight. But we'll have to see. So his Amon-Ra is sped up his... Aspen is sped up, so is his Tara. Eek. This could mean bad news, unless Garuda can bring it back. Oh, that's a Petrify for Garuda. Ah, nasty. We need Garuda to wake up, because she can't do crap when she's petrified. Oh, she, her passives are shut down by Tara. Oh, there we go. Managing to kill, but not kill enough. Damn. We can try again. Uh, Momotaro, we'll try against him once more. We just lost, so we can see if we win. Hmm. There we go. Belrain got our active skill next this time, so this should look like a much stronger fight for us. We'll have to see. Okay, Garuda's doing well. She's still got Amon-Ra bubbles up. Uh, that's solid. Aspen, can you do an active skill before you die? Uh, he's probably going to kill himself here anyway. But, nah, it was okay. Set up a few shields. Uh, hopefully Garuda can get through them. Uh, their amon is going to use an active skill unless we kill her. Nicely done, Ada, killing Amon-Ra before she got her active skill off. Aspen falling. Tara CC'd by the stun from Dragon. Oh, good. And is Purify not getting rid of it? Stun locked. Whew. Nice.
That was a good fight. Let's see if there's someone else we can fight. Lucian. Double Garuda with Kari, Amon Ra, Ada, and Tara. This is going to be a really good example. Let's give this a shot. Well, I'm not, I'm not a fan of having Kari on the back line just because of Unimax. So I feel a lot more comfortable between this. I don't think you should ever put Amon Ra on the front line because it means other Amon Ra's can stun her. Like that, see that Amon Ra right there? His Amon Ra just got petrified. That's proving my point perfectly. Because it means his Amon Ra's not going to do anything. And I like that Cruz has taken the Tara hits because he's not going to do anything. Um, he doesn't really have... <laughs> I'd rather him than anyone else, to be fair. And look at that. Bell Rain giving everyone loads of speed. Uh, their carry just too slow. Um, oh, however, we might not win this one. It it looks like it's going to be close. Double Garuda. I mean, they've already lost one, but we still have to worry about the other one. Carry big active skill, please. Oh, this so this fight's so slow because of the Garudas. There we go. Oh, nice. Tara's down. This could be a real slog of a fight. We're seeded to lose this, though, just based on the fact his heroes are st still... Basically, the heroes we have, but not as good. Oh, my word! Garuda! Oh, what a queen! Oh my word, she only went and did it. We have to go and watch that back. That was incredible. What a last minute pull Garuda with the bloody hell, 85 million damage. <laughs> oh wow. Your opportunities for more heroes is endless, basically, Ostakaka. You have so much potential with this team. I really want to see a Unimax come in here. I think that'll be incredible for this team. Uh, but everything else as it stands is really nice. So let's go to the FTA. Enter that team. And yeah, commit to it. It was nice. It was good fun. So <clears throat> as it stands, it's Cruz, Carry, Belrain, Ada... Garuda and Amon Ra. I feel like we learned a lot today, guys. We can definitely see that Cruz is a big contender for the meta now, which is good because he had what I would say an early retirement not too long ago where he wasn't that great, but it's good to see him performing very well again. I'm glad we were able to get that E5 carry, and you have to admit, the damage caused by E5 Garuda was phenomenal. So, Ostakaka, your team has really been improved. So, yeah, keep going, man. Keep going, keep pushing, and I hope we can maybe even get a Unimax 3000 for that team, because that's the only thing I think he's missing to really push that team into some really scary territory. When Carry comes to Dark Elite Shards and available in the Relic Store, we might even see two Carries on that team if we replace his Dark Arthendol, like we mentioned in the video. So there's definitely a lot of room to manoeuvre with his team, and I think... The work we've done today is only the beginning in the journey his team will make in 2020. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, do feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Let's talk. Let me know if there's anything you would have done differently or any things you're curious about. If you've got any questions about your account, I'll try my best to answer. And if I can't, I'm sure the community will help you out. If you want to get some more content from me, you can find it on the side of the screen here. And guys, I hope you have a great week. And until next time, happy idling.